Hi crocheters of the world, in this tutorial I want to show you how to crochet this lovely lovely leaf stitch. I named it solid leaf stitch because as you can see it's nice and tight and it's uh, a nice texture, uh, very very perfect. So it, it is just perfect actually for a blanket or cushions or why not uh, cardigans, nice um, textured cardigans and so on. Now what I want to say is that I name it solid because I already uh, have a playlist actually on my uh, leaf stitch which is lacy leaf stitch and it's so lovely so you can just go on and see that one too. Now let's see how to work. The multiple is eight which means we will put as many eight groups of eight chains as we need to be uh, the long the project long or wide and at the end we will add nine more stitches now in this swatch i will only put one group of eight three four five six seven eight so now I will just go on and put 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So I have only 8 plus 9, okay? And actually I will have this. So as you can see into the first section. So each section is, so the first section is the most important because on the second section we just switch the places. As you can see, we have the front post lines and the front post line be become um, leaves and the leaves become front post lines okay so this is the difference on the second section the first section uh, so as you can see it's all work with front post and back post the f uh, each section actually is in, in length I, I am talking about the length now each section is worked on six rows so six here and six here and into the first you will have less one leaf okay so as you can see I have three here and four here and then three and four and three and four and so on okay now here I will have one and then into the second section two just have so let us begin with the chain of three into the fifth chain from the hook because we have the chain three as the first double crochet, the border double crochet. So we have the border uh, uh, as a, with a double crochet we begin and we end with the double crochet. So chain three for the first double crochet, the chain fourth it's the base for it and into the fifth we begin to work. From the fifth we work seven double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Oops. Then into the next, we will work the leaf. First row of the six. So it's one chain one and one more. We will have three rows of increasing and three rows of decreasing okay i am talking about the leaves because these are this is the mobile let's say uh the changing um part of the pattern because here we will have the seven we will work three back post one front post three back post and so on so nothing changes okay now uh let's go on with seven more one two Three, four, five, six, and seven. And to finish, we will work the ending double crochet. Okay, this is what I have. Now let's go on with the second row, chain three to begin. Turn your work and we are on the front side, so this will be our front side, okay? So we will work three front posts, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
2 and 3. Um, this in the middle we will work it as a back post. So when you work back post you actually insert hook from the back around the post of the stitch that we want to work and again to the uh, back on the other side and we pull the yarn this is not good okay pull the yarn yarn over pull through two and pull through two and where we were when we work the front post we go from the front around the post so we have the post on the front okay and to the front again and like this okay so this is the difference so we have the front post because actually the post of the stitch is on the front and back post because the stitch is on the back so actually let's go on and work the two stitches that we worked uh, on one chain so this is the leaf as back post so from the back as you can see we have the um, crochet hook on the front and the post on the back so we work the first back post Then into the chain one we will increase one double crochet, chain one and one more double crochet and the other one will be another back post. Okay, now we will repeat the same as we did before with the seven, so one double crochet, one front, two and three, then a back post, the fourth and again three more front posts we are on the back don't forget that this is the back side okay and to finish the double crochet into the third chain of the beginning chain three insert hook and double crochet chain three again third row we are on the front side so as you can see on the front side we have back post three one front post, back post three, then the leaf and again the same thing. So let's go on with three back posts. One, two, three. Front post one and three more back posts. This is the third. row and the last one to increase for the leaf so we will work one and two front posts always on the front side the leaf stitches are front posts then into the chain one space as I said it's the last increase so we double crochet chain one double crochet again so we work double crochet chain one into the front into the first then into the second, now into the third, and the last two will be two front posts, one and two. And now repeat the uh, groups, group of seven double crochets, so three back posts, two and three, one front and three more, one, two and three and again into the chain three into the third chain of the beginning chain three just work your single, uh, double crochet three rows let's go on with three more for the first sequence chain three and we are on the back side. On the back side, we front post the first three. We back post the one in the middle, this one. And we front post the next three of our seven stitches. Okay. And now I have one, two, three. I have three stitches here as you can see 
on one side of the chain so the the leaf one two three chain one and one two three now what I want to do is to back post all three one two three I won't chain anymore so let's say this is the first decrease row I won't chain and they work three more so this is the decrease I said I won't chain and I chained sorry so don't chain just work the other three as back posts okay perfect and now let us finish with the last chain uh, last seven stitches group front post back post the fourth and four more and three more front posts this was back side fourth row and of course don't forget about your last double crochet edge double crochet chain three to turn fifth row fifth row of course we are on the front side which means we work our three back post two and three front post in the middle the fourth and three more one two and three On the leaf we begin actually with the first decrease so we, we decreased uh, into the fifth uh, into the fourth sorry one two three yes it's one two three four yes into the fourth we decrease um, because we don't work that uh, didn't work the chain but now we will actually decrease so around the first two we have six stitches around the first two work one front post and this is the first decrease now work the next two in the middle one by one one front one front and will be a decrease the last two like this okay so from six now we have four and let us work our seven okay fifth row ready almost ready front post the fourth and three more back posts as you can see it's pretty predictable <laughs> really easy actually try to crochet along with me so it will be really easy to understand chain three and let's go on with the sixth so this is the last of this section for the next section it's really really easy you will see so for the last we will work we are on the wrong side which means we work three front posts on our seven then we work back post the front post line no? and three more front posts one two and three on the leaf we will decrease we have four we work two together two together but back post so from the back around the post of two and work them all together one and around the post of the next two work them okay and in the repeating part and three into the third chain work the double crochet and now the second section we begin with the front side and on the second section we will work again the same thing so we repeat exactly six rows but we will um, open leaves on the front post line 
and we will just work a front post line on the leaf. So chain three, work your three back posts. One, two, and three. And as I said, on the front post, so actually into the stitch, insert hook, one double crochet. You can work them, how I work here? Oh, around, okay. Let's work them around. Let's work them around the stitch. So around the front post, work one front post, chain one, and around the same, under the first, work one more front post. Then again, our three back posts. It's one, two, and three. And two together, last two together to begin the front post line. And now we have three, one, three. And here will be our leaf on one side and three back posts. So the back posts just remain as they are. One, two, and three. And on the top of this line, we will open another leaf. One, chain one, and around the same front post, one more. Okay. One double crochet back post, the second, oops, the second, and the third, and the double crochet into the third chain. Okay, so here all that you have to do is to work exactly the same so it's exactly this is the first you have five more rows to cover and it's exactly the same thing that we worked on the leaf we will work here and here and in the middle we will just work front post and back post on the wrong side okay so just continue on and work i will work mine too and i, I just want to show you just to show you into the next uh, next uh, six I just want to show you how to work the leaf in another color if you want to complicate your life. <laughs> so I finished the second sequence. I already begin another one. So begin the first row of another six stitches, stick, six rows. And I just want to show, as you can see here, on the leaves we beginning again with the front side front post line and on the front post line we will open again a leaf but i just want to show you how to change color if you want to work the leaves only the leaves in a contrasting color and actually how to carry on now this is the last stitch before the leaves so i won't close it i just i don't finish it i just leave two um, loops on the hook, fold the contrasting color yarn, put it on the hook and pull through these two. Now we actually change switch to the other color. Yarn over, insert hook around the post, yarn over, pull through two and now to carry on the yarn so we have to carry on the yarn that we are not using at the moment so we just put it like this put it over then yarn over and pull through two just like this leave it there chain one yarn over around the same stitch work two and now we just want to change color actually so put it again and pull through two with the main color switch to the main color and we will carry on this one with us so don't forget that with all with each stitch yarn over pull through two and before you close the double crochet take your color that you have to carry on with you and put it on your hook then yarn over and pull through two 
and that's all leave it there take the other one one okay that's it this is how you work in two colors okay with front post now these two together take the yarn and put it okay so like this we just carry on with us the color I have one it's not difficult it's only that just a little bit we have to be more um, attentive okay one two and three worked in two colors from my point of view it's just lovely and now into the third chain from the hook work your double crochet one again okay switch and now we will chain three this is the wrong side and I just want to work my first like this stitch take the yarn and work it now we are carrying on again with us the yarn we have to okay just want to it is not difficult it's only that we have always to oops it has to remain on the back like this now we are almost there so almost where we have to switch to the leaf color and I just want to show you one more time how to work with and this is the last we worked so I will switch put it on and just pull through to with it now leave it this here we have one chain one and one so I will work back post one don't forget to carry on chain one sorry we don't have to chain one because first of all we will work into the chain one one double crochet and now chain one and one more double crochet okay and the last double crochet one and we have to switch to the main color we switch to the main color and we continue on now we carry on this one okay that would be all you can try it with two colors too because it's really really lovely but first of all maybe it's better if you just want to as you can see it's here just want to try it uh, in one color it's easier okay so that's it hope you enjoy this tutorial hope you enjoy this stitch it is really really lovely and if you make a blanket or anything else uh, it's better if at the end of the project you just uh, iron it with steam with something on it okay so it will look just lovely like this something like this it will look so look at it just lovely okay thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe if you like my tutorials like them and share them with your friends share them on other socials and um, see you at the next tutorial bye bye